Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 64 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Uh, today I want to show you what I worked on last episode. Fancy little dark room. Yeah. Nothing fancy. I told you it would be, you know, pretty much standard fare uh, as dark rooms go. Uh, and it is. So cursed earth in there with the conveyor belts and uh, some dark ineffable glass in case I need to get inside. Some lights on the ceiling there just to help deal with, uh, you know, whatever. And it's, uh, it's doing a great job. These spiders are trying to get away, but they will eventually get pushed into the thing. Um, so lots of good stuff going on back here. I've got basically an inventory where I collect miscellaneous kind of junk. And I've been uh, using that as my let's build a filter list of things that go into the trash kind of thing. Um, we just got a bunch more things, actually. Kind of annoying. But, yeah, we'll deal with it. For now, um, I'll clean that up eventually. In fact, I have a crate. I do have a crate. Can I do a chest to crate storage keeper real quick? This dude. There. That'll give me lots of uh, storage space until I need to really clean that out uh, and decide what we're going to do with, like, right now I'm just trashing a lot of stuff, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. Uh, so I think we're at a point now where we can finally start looking at getting into Draconic Evolution stuff, which is kind of exciting. Um, so you've got your Draconic Core, right? Um, these things. So all these items now are auto-craftable, with the exception of Draconium ingots. Um, so we could probably just teach that there is an auto smell recipe. And I, I haven't decided, so when I did this in my uh, Let's Play series, like Draconium Dust is actually used for a handful of things. So it's kind of nice to have on hand, um, but you don't need a ton of it usually. So, um, but I guess I could like go ahead and make one of these, right? I could just make one. Hey, to even get knowledge to the max, sweet. Um, so did I actually like teach this pattern or no? No. So that'll go into our like regular smelting pattern here. So now I can do draconium ingots like times 300 and you're ready to roll, boom. Um, and then I can just, these guys can't be processed in a sag mill, which is what I have downstairs for auto processing stuff. I do have the crusher, which they can be uh, dropped into, but the crusher is a loud, annoying machine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but they won't go into the sag mill. It's funny, there's like certain, Certain blocks just can't be processed in a sag mill. So I haven't decided if I want to like on demand crush that stuff into Draconium dust or just dump this Draconium ore into something somewhere. Um, but you know, pretty much we're getting Draconium ingots and we're ready to roll. Uh, let's see if the tablet's working. Kind of. Tablet, why are you so transparent? <laughs> That's not easy. That's not easy to read. Uh. Hey, there we go. Okay, nav window. Let's boost that guy up. Oh, that's a little bit better. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, now, now, now we can we can read things. Sweet. All right, cool. Hey, we've got draconium and draconium ore and all kinds of other good stuff. Um, I have to remember how to navigate this little tab thingy, but we know the basic gist of Draconic Evolution. We've played with it a few times in the past. One of the things I think I should work first towards um, in Draconic Evolution, well, like, first... Oh, boy. I'm afraid to do this. Kind of don't want to do it. Um, real quick. Can you please, with the clicking of the things and stuff... Uh, Draconic Core. Nice. And do we not have singularities? We do. I don't know if you're going to be okay with this. But I guess we'll just see what happens. So I'm going to put in or dictionary substitutes, which basically should mean, I think, um, any quantum singularity should work in here. And, uh... I went ahead real quick in between episodes and set up another one of these bad boys. Yay! So uh, let's go ahead and I like to drop them in the interface here so that they're kind of organized together. But you can see we've got another bunch of uh, molecular assemblers ready to roll. Sweet. Um, so 
I want to craft one manually first. And hopefully this will work. Dun dun dun! Achievement get. Age 13. I was hesitant to do this because I know what everybody's going to say. Trophy room, dire wolf. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I, I, I'm not sure where I'm at yet with this, but I think we're getting close to the point where I'm going to want to, because my base has gotten obnoxiously, I mean, just so organically grown. And, and for those of you who aren't sure what I mean by that, I mean, organically grown means I've just kind of, mm, as needed, mishmashed things together. Like, I didn't plan out a design for how my base was going to go. Um, so we're getting to the point where I feel like it might be a really good idea to kind of start thinking about maybe making things a little nicer. Uh, but what I want to get from Draconic Evolution, so there's a few things I want to get for sure. Uh, we'll definitely want to get into some basic infusion crafting, right? That requires a fusion coil from Tech Reborn. Interesting. And a Wither Diamond. Cool. Uh, what's this? Energy flow circuit, nichrome heating coil, advanced machine casing, iridium neutron reflector, energy flow circuit, blah, 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 blah. things and stuff. Neat. So that's tech rebornish, um, but that doesn't look too bad. Not not terrible. Um, sweet. Okay. So I didn't look at this recipe until just this moment. And my brain is just getting overloaded with the amount of crazy things required, but I'm sure we'll be able to manage. Um, but one of the big things that we'll definitely want to get, besides basic infusion, fusion crafting abilities, um, is well, well, I would like to have a mob grinder. Um, and the mob grinder is cool because it can kill withers really, really easily, like instantly kill withers. It's a little OP, just a touch. Um, but we will need some draconium ingots, some wyvern energy cores, which are pretty expensive. Um, and we will also need, yeah, wyvern energy cores, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and, and wyvern cores. Uh, wyvern cores requiring, you guessed it, another star. Uh, so we're going to absolutely need to kill the wither a few times by hand. Um, so what I'm thinking is maybe we could get a, a wither entrapment unit like a shield gen kind of thing uh like we typically have seen in the past oh that requires another star hey uh, you require another star shield projector mark one nice uh shield templates look to be the regular recipe so at least that's not terrible so we have to kill a wither at least once um okay so that's good to know if we want to get a shield generator um and shields i just kind of like them for the whole wither entrapment device like there's other wither resistant blocks um, if we like looked up wither, uh, we'll see wither dust blocks, lons, lons deliate. How much of that stuff do we have? Actually quite a bit. And how do we get lons delight with reinforced stone? So that's not terrible. Uh, we could probably even do that if we really wanted to, but, um, I like shields. So that's pretty much the way I'm going to go. Um, and obviously you've got your reinforced obsidian. So let's maybe get a wither summoned, kill him, get his nether star, uh, and then use that to make a shield gen structure so that we can entrap the wither. Then we'll work on um, wither summoning uh, and spawning and we'll kind of go from there. Does that sound like a plan? So uh, I guess first things first is we're gonna want uh, some soul sand and some wither skulls. And good thing I'm auto killing withers. Uh, skeletons and then we'll uh, go from there. I'm probably gonna want to summon him in a place that's not gonna be harmful. How about flight? How how bad of a deal would jetpacks be right now to get? Because I mean, I remember like pretty much any jetpack that we wanted to get was going to require um, the electric jetpack, which requires this jetpack, which requires an elytra. I wouldn't mind having a jetpack, maybe even the vibrant tier one. Um, and we can even bump it up to Dark Solarium, maybe, eventually. That would be cool. Um, in replacement of the Dark Plate. That might be a neat idea. Because flying plus wither killing equals good. So I'm going to craft a jetpack real quick off camera. And I'll come back if there's any weird or um, necessary crafting components. But I do have an Elytra, right? Yeah, I do. Cool. So we'll be back in just a moment. Iron item casings. Making progress, guys. Making progress. Uh, so you guys get converted into one, 
two of these, and then you just need a little bit more electrical steel, and you should be good. A little bit more electrical steel, a little bit more electrical steel. So I'm working my way up the ranks of the electrical jetpack um, from Simply Jetpacks, and next up is a bunch of vibrant alloy. So uh, back in a minute, lots of crafting to do. Next tier up, woot. All right, just waiting on a couple more vibrants, and then we're good to go. Uh, it wasn't so bad. Took maybe 10 or 15 minutes worth of crafting, and we got up to a vibrant jetpack, which is cool by me. Um, so that's nifty. Holds 20 million RF. I think I'm gonna wanna charge it down here. Charge both of them, actually. Nice. We're actually impacting our RF. How great is that? We're actually impacting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, nope, never mind, we're not. <laughs> never mind, it's back to a positive net gain. Uh, cool. So while this charges, uh, what would be involved in making an actual solarium jet plate? Uh, just out of curiosity. I assume I need to upgrade you with the armoring. Uh, and then it would be dark solarium ingot, ender crystal, that doesn't seem so bad. Uh, dark Solarium Ingot requires that. That doesn't look so bad. Um, uh, reinforced Collider Ring, a Vibrant Capacitor Bank. That doesn't look so bad. That's Dark Solarium Ingot, Octave Capacitor, Flight Control Unit, Flight Control Unit, Soul Vial of a Bat. Okay. I hear one. I hear a soul. I hear a bat, don't I? I don't know where. Hey. I hear you, Bat. Where are you at? I hear you chirping. Where's the Bat? Anybody see him? He definitely seemed loudest over here. I wonder if there's like something behind a wall somewhere. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. Uh, I think what I'll do is just armor this up and then we'll look at getting the Dark Solarium one later. But a tier four jetpack is plenty good. Uh, I'm just gonna need 10 dark steel, 10 electrical steel, 10 conductive iron. Cool, so. Uh, five more of you. Uh, six more of you. And ten more of you. Back in a minute when this is all done crafting. Okie dokie. That should be good. And then just these guys combine. Nice. And then that should be armor for me. Beautiful. Armor is good. And we've got flight. Okay, cool. Uh, hotkeys time. Gotta tweak that. Uh, dark steel armor. Uh, where's, 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 where's jetpacks? Simply jetpacks, cool. Uh, I like hover mode to be G and U to be F. Sweet. Ho ho, flight guys. I, I could have made this a long time ago, but uh, I haven't needed it. Hey, I think we're ready to fight a wither. What do you guys think? Uh, I should maybe bring some buckets of milk. What do you think? Not a bad idea. Just in case things get troublesome. Um, now you, Mr. Nutrition Module, can also give me health points. Though I'm not entirely sure how you get health points. I imagine it's some kind of if I got another stone assimilator and put them right here, would that do what I need to do? Or do I need I need the fancy assimilator, don't I? Yeah, for that one. I think that guy will heal me though. Um, so I think I need an algorithm assimilator. I think I've got an algorithm separator up here. Don't I? Don't I have an algorithm separator up here? I do. Nice. Uh, and what else do I need? Reinforced iron blocks and sickle. Do I have any reinforced iron blocks? I don't remember seeing those. Um, so a sickle is a reinforced axe and a reinforced shovel. So let's make this guy real quick. Do I have the stone for this? 
Yes, I just don't have the sticks. I have a flawless calculator on me, so that's convenient. Let's put you into dynamic crafting mode. Nice. And then uh, you also need reinforced iron ingots. Oh wait, you already know how to make the blocks? Nice. That's cool. I only need three, but it's all good. Back in a sec when this is done crafting. Okay, so are you going, what, whoa, hello, maybe not. Tanzanite leaves, huh? Did I not need that one? I should have checked, to be fair. Uh, used with health modules. With the stone assimilator? Interesting. Can I just right click the leaves? Apparently. Maybe I do need a stone assimilator here. I thought I needed the algorithm one for like the fancier trees. Stone assimilator. That just needs another one of these sickles. Uh, and a stone separator, which I might actually, believe it or not, have some of. I do. Nice. So then... Give me this and that, and my flawless calculator again. My bad. So I guess you're not the thing I do? You are? We'll see if that thing starts. Oh yeah, health points, look at that, sweet. Okay. I don't know what that exactly does, health points, um, but I figure if the hunger points feed me, health points heal me? I don't know how fast. That's probably like the main question, right? Like what what's the impact of, you know, fighting a wither? Uh, let's come back in a minute once this is done processing this tree and then we'll be uh, ready to fight a wither. All right, in this age, and I'm gonna fly nice and far away because I don't want wither man destroying my solar array. That would probably be a bad time. Uh, I've got milk. I've got my hunger and health module. I've got uh, a charged border in case things go terribly awry. Uh, I did not bring with me any soul sand or wither skulls, but that's okay. Because I have a wireless infinite range doohickey. Sweet. All right, let's, uh, let's fight a wither. Achievement get the beginning. Hi, Wither. How are you? Like I said, if things go crazy, just teleport home. Flight really does make this fight a little bit silly. So I guess uh, this thing's healing me. Not bad. Now where's my nether star? There it is. Woot. I like it. That module's a little OP, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right though. It's all right. It's all in the name of science. Hey, we're gonna have some more OP armor soon, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So we've got another star, uh, which can be used for all kinds of good things, uh, including tier four structure blocks, um, which, uh, by the way, if we want to get like a tier four anything, we're gonna need lots and lots of other stars, but that's why we're working on automating them today. So a shield projector now only needs some reinforced obsidian. Um, so we're going to need what, more dark steel? Let's get a bunch of that cooked up. Uh, and how are we for reinforced stone? Looks like we'll have enough for this craft, but we may need more soon. Uh, that's kind of a pretty manual process of being made. So hopefully we don't need you a lot in any, like, 
automated mana. Draconium infused obsidian. We'll probably want a decent amount of that stuff, but only once. Uh, I use that usually for my automatic wither summoner. But to get started, we should be cool. Um, so you should be crafting my dark steel. Good. So we'll be back in a minute when this is ready. So I just went to craft something and realized I'm low on um, peat. So I made a little improvised peat farm. We'll let that go for a little bit. It'll just take its time. Okay, so while making that bog earth, we should have gotten what we need for a little bit more of this. Ah, oh, more dark steel. Oh, we have some. Every now and then, shift click acts funny with, with this guy. Uh, but now we should have what we need for a shield projector, and a tier one shield projector should, in theory, be enough. Um, oh, right. Huh. To be fair, I didn't really need to kill that wither. But I did it in fairness, um, because technically I've been getting nether stars up here every now and then. Um, they're rare, but they do show up. So technically, I guess I didn't have to kill that wither. Um, but. I wanted to be a little bit fair about one one legit wither fight. All right, time for a little bit more reinforced stone. Hey tree. That should be cool. Uh, how much of this foam stuff do I have? Not nearly enough. Uh, You've got distilled water in you. I think I should be able to pull that off. And I think that you might still be set. Nice. So I should be able to do something like this, this, and this. I don't know how much this thing actually holds. Okay, he went somewhere. I'm assuming he went into the system. Nice. Okay, so 10 buckets worth, by the way, is how much it holds. Cool. And then if we want to speed this up, we get some sand. And then we get a drill. And this should take a minute. Like, literally a minute. But, that works. So that got me about 25-ish, good. So now I should be able to make another one of these, cool, which means I can make another one of these, cool. Uh, and these guys can go away for a later use. Okay, did my card get finished being made? Yes, perfect. So I would like to store you in here to link that, and then you get placed in the world, set everybody out, this guy, boom, nice. And that's going to power things for me. Uh, the only other thing I think I need to worry about then um, would be some conduiting for power and the shield blocks, which shouldn't be too bad. And we'll convert these to red. Neat. Now, where do we want to build this thing uh, is a question. Uh, I think we want to build it like far enough away from our base. Maybe during the daytime we should build it as well. But far enough away from our base that even it, I want to make sure this wither doesn't actually get out. Uh, so that would be um, ideal if the wither did not escape. So how about this area right here? Did I take those drill bits out? I did. If I flattened out this train a little bit, it might be a good spot. Cool. Um, now if we dug into the ground here. Let's get a few more of... So four more of these. 
So that'll be your 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 floorboard, right? Uh, and we'll put this guy here. And we may need a rent. No, we don't. Okay, cool. Um, so solid for all. So basically, nothing can get through this shield. Not me. Not not the wither. Right. Um, and we'll pop this dude here, and you should be getting power now. Beautiful. So that when we do that, nice. Look at that. Fancy. I like it. Cool. And you should be good. Um, that's all. So just solid for all. Nice. The next line. And I forget if wands work on this thing or not. We're about to find out. Sweet. Probably going to want a little bit more of you. Um, does this... This feels a little cramped to me. I think I needed him to be larger, didn't I? Does this feel better? Yeah, this feels better. One thing I remember about the weather as well is he doesn't appreciate being trapped that much. Uh, he kind of is okay with it, but he's also kind of not okay with it. Um... Meaning that if, you're, if your ceiling is too low, he can break out. So that should be cool. So now I should be able to wrench this thing. Uh, and we can put our shield gen here. Now this is going to be a different shield gen. What we're going to say is um, you're solid for hostile mobs. And you're going to allow players to pass. Does that sound cool? What I should probably do is just make this all default solid players can pass. So players can pass, but it's solid for the default. Does that work? I think that should work. Um, so we should be able to spawn a wither in here and be cool, right? Everybody cross your fingers. Now if he stays in there, we're good. And if not, we're luring him away from our base. Because he's a little close. Nice. I think we've got a trapped wither, my friends. Wahaha! Oh boy, that's not good. We don't have a trapped wither anymore. How did that happen? Further testing required. How did he break out? He should not have been able to break out of that. That is weird. Uh, further testing absolutely required. Did you lose power at some point? I don't think so. You should be you should be getting more than enough power. Like more than enough. Further testing required. I've done this enough times and I know that this should work. The only thing I can imagine is you didn't get you ran out of power. That's the only thing I can imagine him doing. And if that's the case, we just have to get faster power transfer over here, but I don't think that, that would be it. Oh, he's got plenty of power. Oh, I'm a hurting. Where's my bucket of milk? Let's charge up this little thingy over here. How much? Uh... Oh, you've got lots of points. Nice. Nutrition module. Good. Health points. Yay. I mean, it's also, like, reasonable to assume that I did something therapy. 
And this won't be a problem soon. Good. So once we get the Draconic Evolution uh, auto killer going, it won't be a problem because he's going to die pretty much the instant that he spawns. So there's going to be little chance for him to break out. Uh, but we've got an automated wither. Well, no, we don't have anything automated with withers. But we have a wither trap. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to call that a good wrapping up point for the episode. We will come back next time and uh, maybe automate uh, some stuff and maybe start working on the infusion that we have to do. Uh, but I'd like to automate nether stars if we can, definitely. For now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.